or potatoes in blossom, an important crop and favorite food in almost every civilized country of the world, including our own. As far as it is known today, potatoes were first discovered in the Andes Mountains of South America. Here, they were cultivated by ancient Indians in a primitive manner that has changed very little in a great many centuries. The Spanish conquistadores brought them to Europe in the late 16th century. British and Dutch traders during the golden age of navigation carried them around the world by sea. The British to India and Ceylon, and the Dutch to what is now Indonesia, and then to the islands of Japan. It was from Britain, too, that they seem to have come first to North America in the early 1700s. Today, steadily increasing demand for potatoes has made them one of our biggest and most important crops. Planting starts in the early spring. Potato seeds are cut sections of top quality potatoes, the best of last season's crop. Specially designed machines put them into the ground. Adding fertilizer and covering them all in one operation. By midsummer, they're in full flower. It takes a lot of water to make strong, healthy plants like these. Killed by fall frosts, the plants have done their job. Potatoes are tubers that grow on the plant's roots, nature's way of storing the nutrients that are manufactured almost magically from sun, soil, and water. Harvesting potatoes is a mechanized operation, too, with a variety of machines and methods used in various parts of the country. Brought to packing sheds, conveyor belts move them quickly along the way. Washed, dried, and carefully inspected, they're headed for the bagging machine. Automatically weighed, they can be bagged in any quantity, in burlap, paper, or net, or in polyethylene bags like these. Whatever kind of bag you buy them in, potatoes are for eating in hundreds of interesting and attractive ways at tables all around the world. Here at home, potato salad is a tempting year-round favorite. In Germany, potato dumplings add zest to a hearty stew. In Ireland, Kalkanon is a familiar dish, made easily from mashed potatoes and broccoli. The Japanese julienne potatoes, and boil them in soy sauce, along with a variety of other vegetables. In India, curry sauce is widely used. A popular and attractive dish is this one, a curry of boiled potatoes and cauliflower. One reason for their international popularity is their nutrients, essential food elements abundantly available however they may be cooked. To enjoy baked potatoes in half the time, parboil them first in water salty enough to float them. Then, after 20 minutes of boiling, Put them in a hot oven for five minutes more. You'll have baked potato flavor and whole potatoes at their best. When you serve them with a low calorie dressing made of sour cream and chopped chives. For a simple, delicious main dish, mash potatoes and make nets to be filled with any sauce preparation of eggs, meat, or fish. These are being filled with potted meatballs.
and these with curried shrimp and peas. For easy foolproof fudge, add one third cup of mashed potatoes to three squares of bitter chocolate and three tablespoons of butter melted together in a double boiler. Mix well, add one eighth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pure vanilla extract, and one pound sifted confectioner sugar. Knead until smooth and cool and press into a foil lined cake pan. Turned out on the back of another pan, you can cut it easily with a piece of heavy thread. Yield one and one quarter pounds of delicious fudge made easily in a matter of minutes. Outdoors as well as in, potatoes provide the lasting energy of solid food. French fries are always in order. Mickey's, prepared by swinging potatoes in a can full of hot coals, are a boyhood favorite. It's fun to make them, and even more fun to eat them. Wise homemaker hostesses know the many parts that potatoes can play in the home. Simple or festive, they belong on any occasion.